what's up it's Kinsey and welcome back to my youtube channel if you guys have not seen my videos already um hi nice to meet you i don't know why i said that i just started a podcast so i feel like now i don't know how to like talk to a camera anyways i get a lot of questions on like how to manage it all because i'm a full-time college student i do youtube full-time i have a podcast social life really heavily involved in my church like there's just like a lot of different things and i like doing it all and i really like just like having a full life not a busy life a full life so here are my tips here are things that i do i've made videos like this in the past but i feel like i'm constantly learning and just kind of getting better about it so if you guys have any other tips please leave them in the comments down below also i'm sorry this camera setup is not the best i'm recording this with my vlog camera because my dslr it's just like i don't like the lens anymore it's just so difficult i need a new lens if anyone just wants to give me a new camera lens let me know Anyways, um, yeah, we're just gonna talk about how to manage it all, how to get it all done. I haven't filmed a normal sit-down video like this in so long, I feel like. Huh. If you guys miss these, let me know. If you guys don't, also let me know. Okay. So my first tip that I have, it's probably not gonna make you guys very happy, but it's to wake up early. Last night, some friends and I were over, and one of them was doing like the miracle morning thing and said it like changes life. And basically, any person who like does well in life, I feel like gets up early, and that's a big thing. I have not been super great about this lately, but I go through my periods of time where I wake up really early. You win the morning, you win the day. It's so true. I talk about this stuff more in my podcast, if you guys like wanna hear me talk more in depth about this stuff, but, yeah, waking up early is really nice. And then my second tip would be to have a morning routine. So I think waking up early is like the first thing and then having a nice morning routine is really good. I'm someone who doesn't like to go straight into like what I'm doing for the day, nor do I think really anyone should. I think that you should have some time to yourself and some time to kind of like wake up you know, see the world, live your life, whatever it is, even if it's just from your own home. Um, make breakfast, coffee. I like reading every morning. I'm very big on that. I share that like literally every single video. Um, listening to a podcast, whatever that is. I actually am about to film. It's going to be up later, but I want to film a video where I try out the Miracle Morning and like let you guys know how I like it. I want to maybe do it for like a month and see how much it like drastically changes my life because I feel like it really will drastically change my life. And that is something that I would love to do. So, um, yeah, you just have to have a morning routine that works for you and I feel like this is the biggest thing because if I wake up when I like this morning It's Saturday I thought I was gonna wake up at 7 and I woke up at 9 and I was so thrown off and I was like Oh, that sucks so bad because I could have started two hours before and it would have just changed it literally would have changed my day So waking up early having a morning routine. Those are huge. The next thing is to plan Well, I've talked about this a billion times the planner. I use is a passion planner I've used it for three years and I will never leave it It's like my favorite thing ever but whatever it is for you having a planner even if it's like a Google Calendar something it's so important to plan because then you can actually make sure that you're getting your stuff done like make a list of things you have to do and then put them in a planner and find time like you have time for what you want to make time for and you have way more time to get things done than you realize like if you just like get off your phone we all spend like four to six hours a day on our phone like imagine how much more time you can be spending doing something like efficient and productive with your time so you have time for things just plan like that is so huge i cannot ex like i can't express that enough the next thing with planning is to schedule and rest so a lot of you guys have been asking like how to avoid burnout blah 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 blah. i'm super bad about burnout but this is something that i'm really trying to learn actually if you guys i'm mentioning my podcast so much but that's because my podcast talks about this stuff a lot my first episode with alicia we like really heavily focus in on burnout so if you guys want to hear about that it's in the first episode of the i love you so much podcast Anyways, it is huge to schedule and rest. And I know that sounds ridiculous because you're like, why are you scheduling rest? But for me, that just means that I'm like, okay, well, during this time, I can't work. I need to rest and I need to do whatever recharges me. Rest doesn't always mean just like laying in bed watching Netflix. If that's how you rest and that works for you, that's perfect. For me, that doesn't like recharge me. So I don't really like that. Like personally for me, for rest, like something that recharges me and just going to Malibu is like my favorite place. So I'll go to Malibu and then I'll come back like really recharged and I'll feel so much more well rested going to Malibu than I would have been if I I just like laid in bed all day or I'll spend time with people that I know recharge me like so it's my best friends or whatever it is um, I'll just do things that I know are gonna end up refueling me rest doesn't always mean being like lazy but if that's what it works for you it works for you you know what I'm saying so just figure out what recharges you one time um, Taylor and I did for like a week we just like kept a list in our journals of things that recharged us and we just like wrote them down so I will so often go back to that list and like find something to do in there when I need it um, but to avoid burnout, you just have to be really intentional and in like scheduling in rest because life gets crazy and life gets busy. So you have to just be ahead of the times, you know? Number five, stay ahead, do not procrastinate. So I am so big into staying ahead. Like my videos are always pre-filmed like a week or two in advance. Like they're already up on my channel. Like the video, like this video, 
was filmed probably like a week or two before it's posted I am never like editing and uploading the day before like I recently had to do that because I was just there was something wrong with me but, Like I don't do that as far as school too. I will have my assignments like I'm always a week ahead But I have to be so like, at the very beginning I'll work really hard to just get ahead and then that is like my normal like stride like you know what I'm saying so I will just work like normal like how everyone else would but I'm two weeks ahead so because of that I don't get stressed as much I don't get anxious I'm not like oh my gosh I have to do this I have to do this and it gives me a little more leeway like I'm young I'm 21 like if my friends want to go out and like do something or I want to go see my friends or hang out or whatever it is I'm not like oh I have to do this like I have a little bit more flexibility with that being said I will say no a lot still Love the airplane. So with that being said, obviously, like, you still need to say no and still work hard. But with being so ahead, it gives me, like, a little bit more leeway. And it helps me with my anxiety levels so much. Oh, my gosh. Number six is to stay focused and to stay efficient. Being productive really means nothing because you could just be, like, Oh, like I'm doing something like I wrote I ate breakfast and I'm gonna go right eat breakfast on my to-do list and cross it off Like that's what being productive is but being efficient is like getting the the stuff done in the time frame that you did it So if I have like an hour to edit a video I have an hour to edit a video and for that hour I'm only editing that video like I'll turn my phone off and I just stay focused So much more powerful to be efficient rather than to be productive Because so often to be productive means that you're just like doing busy work that you don't really need to do So I'll be really efficient when I'm supposed to be efficient so I can get everything done and like that is the time frame that I gave myself to do it and so that's the time frame that I'm gonna take to do it it's just like yeah be efficient not productive your wording this is huge so like your words create worlds like the way that you speak about things and talk about things like completely change everything Judah Smith says this I got this from him but he's like you know I don't ever say that I live a busy life I just say that I live a full life and obviously his life is like very very busy but just say that you live a full life instead of busy because it just changes like the connotation of it. you're like oh it's full like I have a lot of things like I get to do these things rather than busy you're like oh my gosh I'm so busy I'm burnt out I'm exhausted I'm tired whatever whatever you have to do to like trick your mind into it instead of a to-do list like things I get to do small things like that it may sound cheesy or corny but it like really does make a huge difference and yeah I love that that's big <sighs> my next thing is keep your space organized I cannot work in clutter so like I have to have a clear like clean space clean mind clear space clear mind I don't know I'm literally butcher every single quote I try to say in a video or a podcast whatever it's fine but that is so big for me because I like I can't come home I'll freak out if like someone's been in my office while I was gone and then it's messy I'm like that is so annoying because when I come home then I take an extra 15 minutes to clean it before I can do anything and that kind of like when I'm coming home like, oh I'm going straight to my office and I'm gonna work then that kind of like jolts back my like headspace I know I sound extreme that's just like how it works for me so like I'm constantly cleaning up I never go to bed with my room messy I clean up before I go to bed so I wake up to a clean room I make sure my office is clean before I come back to work in it just stuff like that it's so important to keep it organized even my bag like something that I'm trying to get better about is to not like shove things in my bag My car is what gets the messiest because I like live in that all the time So I'll just like throw things and forget to get them out I drive my friends everywhere so it just gets messy But it's so important to keep your spaces organized because like clear space clear mind I don't know something like that guys. Okay become a person of commitment. This is so freaking big Okay, so Basically, the porch is a podcast on commitment and it's so good. Literally so good. Like no is an option too if you commit to something. Like if I commit to something, I've committed to that and I'm going to work around that and get everything done in order to do that. But if I know that I can't do it, I will say no up front so that I don't have that added pressure of being like, oh, well, maybe I should do this or maybe I should do that. Or like they're maybe thinking I should. Like it's not cool. Be a person of commitment. If you say you're going to do something, do it. And if you say you're not going to do something, don't do it. That may sound really obvious, but so often we're like, it's Monday, they're like, oh, I want to go do this Friday, and you're like, oh, yeah, maybe, and then you wait until, like, Friday, 10 minutes before, like, oh, I can't make it, like, that just makes you flaky, no one's gonna take you seriously, it just, it really harms friendships, I just don't like that at all, obviously, there's exceptions, totally understand the exceptions, but if that's, like, how you are, fix that, that is huge, because no one's gonna take you seriously, ever, and, like, if they can't rely on you to do one thing, why would they, like, rely on any words that you say, so that's huge, but um, yeah, so if someone's like, oh, let's do this Friday, and like I know that I can't make it, I'll be like, I cannot make it. Or I'll be like, hey, I have a lot going on. If you wanna like revisit this in a few days, let me know. But like also if you make other plans, it's okay. Like just be very upfront and yeah, I don't know. I think so much more of it is like fear of like better things coming along. So people will be like, oh, like we'll see unless something better comes along. No, say yes or no, and that is it. Be committed or not be committed. It's a really easy thing. Okay, the last thing is what you consume is like what you become. So I have been so focused on like what I'm even listening to, even if it's like music, like I'm like, I don't want this in my life right now. I don't want that in my life right now. I don't want to feel these certain emotions. So I'm so like 
proactive about what I'm listening to, but something that I love to do in this sense of like managing it all, like being productive is I listen to podcasts because podcasts make me feel way more productive and efficient and they inspire me to just like be better and get better and to work harder. So I love listening to podcasts, even if they're just like a chill podcast, I don't know what it is. I just feel like I have my life more together when I'm listening to podcasts. But yeah, just be watching what you consume because that is a huge thing. What you consume, you become so huge. So those are my tips for just kind of how to manage it all with school, church, YouTube, podcast, whatever it is. We're all busy, we all have things. I'm sure you guys have a billion more things than I do, but I'm just saying that is what I do. Um, yeah, I don't really have an off day, but I will make like Saturdays for like five hours. I try to have like just free time completely. I am very intentional about scheduling rest and chilling and like making time for people and stuff now, whereas I feel like a year or two ago, I wasn't and I wasn't as happy and I think that people matter way more. So yeah, that is how you get it done. There's a way to do everything, um, but also, okay, there's a way to do everything, but I don't think you need to be doing everything. You need to make sure what you're doing is what you're supposed to be doing. Anyways, that's another that's another topic, but this is just for the things that you guys are doing. Love you guys so much. Um, if you guys have not already, be sure to check my podcast. I love you so much with Kenzie Elizabeth. Love you guys so much. Subscribe if you guys are new here. Check out my Instagram, and I'll see you guys soon.